I think it's really rather difficult for them to do so because I don't think that the decision to build a third runway will be an easy one for the government in the UK to make and I think it will take some time. If you look at the time scale that it took to produce Terminal 5, which is half the size of Terminal 3 here at Dubai, I think it took something like 12 years to both plan and construct that terminal. And of course, we did a, a terminal double that size in half the time. So I think it's going to be very difficult for Heathrow to catch us up now. What has made Dubai successful compared to Heathrow? Where have you been able to gain where they have not been able to keep up? I think the biggest single point of difference is the long-term vision that has actually been a consistent application of the determination of the rulers of Dubai over the last three generations to provide a vision for the growth of this city, which has driven a vision for the aviation sector that produces a sort of GDP growth, the development in social standing and global reputation that has made Dubai one of the world's leading cities. And we're very, very fortunate to be part of that vision and air travel is seen as an essential part of stimulating GDP growth. I don't think that's on the agenda in the UK and Europe where clearly there are other concerns and other priorities. How will a weaker global economic backdrop affect the feeder markets for Dubai International? I think if you look in the past traffic numbers that we've produced over the years and decades that have preceded our position today, you'll see a consistent uh, positive trends that irrespective of what happens globally we are able to reassert our position as the world's uh, most convenient intercontinental hub and if you look at the geographic position of Dubai you look at the fact within four hours flying time here we've got a third of the world's population most of that population is economies that are emerging very quickly and then of course within an eight hour circle from Dubai in terms of flight time we've got two thirds of the world's population and that includes all of vibrant economies in, in Asia and all of Africa which has obviously got some fairly small beginnings but some very strong growth. On the other hand the airport's cargo throughput has dropped again. What's your take on the figures? Well the cargo position here in Dubai generally is still very very strong and we're right up the top in the world's uh, top three airports for cargo throughput and at Dubai International of course our strategy has been very much to encourage the cargo operators to relocate their operations to our new airport Dubai World Central Al Maktoum International. We've got something like 24 cargo airlines now operating from that airport and although there's a huge amount of cargo that still goes through Dubai International, most in the belly holds of passenger aircraft, all the dedicated freighters have moved to Dubai World Central and that's very much where the future of the cargo industry in Dubai now lies.